Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we're doing something pretty exciting. It's the first mod I did to the i, and it's gonna be the same mod I do to the M4. Ever since I found out about this mod, guys, it is an absolute game changer when you're inside your M4. And that is, you guys are gonna have to just find out. I'm not gonna tease y'all. It is the MMI Prime. If you guys don't know what this is, I have it in the i8. It's basically Apple CarPlay, but even better. So you have Apple CarPlay, you can mirror your phone onto the screen, you can do everything. And normal cars that come equipped with Apple CarPlay, you have to connect your phone to the car. This one is completely wired. My phone automatically connects to it as soon as I get inside the car, which is super nice. I can actually put my Apple Maps on the bigger screen, that eight inch screen up top. And I can also use Siri, check the weather, go through my Spotify music, do a whole bunch of cool settings even download apps that is the first mod we need before we head to LA because we don't want to get lost and I don't want to keep looking down on my phone when we can have it on the big screen that is just perfect you guys saw in the last video we got the whole front end painted we have the new emblem on there the OEM BMW emblem I don't know why I'm so satisfied with this it looks so much better than those cheap eBay ones but um, your man's normally broke, so you can't actually afford these. But this one had to go on this because it's just a masterpiece. We got the whole car pretty much clear broad. We're not perfect. As you guys can see, there's a few little bubbles there. Nothing too crazy though. A few little few little things there. But in terms of having it on there, I'm pretty happy with it. You can't really even tell it's really on there until you really look at the lines. I mean, I'm just super happy. We have the fender clear broad, the bumper, even the inner portion right here. This whole thing is clear broad. So that is absolutely perfect. All the way over here, the whole front bumper is clear broad. Even this little thing right here. I mean, look at the details, guys. I don't know if you guys can see it, but uh, yeah, clear broad there, clear broad there. So we are good to go. I normally have paint chip issues whenever I paint a car. So now we shouldn't have any paint chip issues heading off to LA. Probably should have got some kind of clear broad that goes around this because this lump is pretty big, but um, it is what it is. It probably should have clear broad the whole hood. Maybe we'll do that down the road. But as for now, this is all your boy could afford. <laughs> but honestly, I think it's good enough. I'm just super, super, super excited. I know it's going to be kind of a short video but I mean just enjoy the adventure with me and just getting this thing to work it took me forever to figure it out on the i8 because there's no other videos on YouTube on this thankfully keys motorsports ha does have a video on it and uh, guess where I got this from keys motorsports boys so use code nor five for five percent off most things at keys motorsports it'll be supporting your boy and you guys can get a discount at keys and if you guys I mean I mean this thing I'm not promoting it because I I'm trying to you know sell it to you guys I'm promoting because I fucking love it I absolutely love it I have it in the i it's the first mod I have to put on the M4. Let's go ahead and show you guys what's in the box. So first things first, let's go ahead and pop this buddy open here. Come on, man. Come on. Seven years later. Okay, there we have it. Oh, buddy, the M4. Oh, yes. We have the Beamer Tech um, decal right here, but this is the main machine. This is what we spent our big boy money on. This is an absolute beast. For So for those of you guys who have a 8.8 or a 10.2, which we do, we leave these three switches on, which is already what they have it on right now. If you guys have a 6.5, so turn three off and just have one and two. If you have an 8.8, .8, you're gonna use one, two, and three. Nothing too crazy. This looks so good. Here is all the harnesses. So um, we're gonna be needing this. This is gonna help us connect to, I believe, Bluetooth wirelessly. We're gonna have to route this guy, and we're gonna have to route this. I think we're routing this just for the USB. I'll show you guys how to pretty much do all this stuff. Nothing too crazy here. Let's just go ahead and get into it. So the next thing we're gonna wanna do is actually remove this glove box. So I believe there is two screws on the bottom. You remove those two screws, and then you remove the two screws to the airbag. You drop the airbag. And then you move two more screws, so about six screws in total on the bottom, one screw on the sidewall right there, and then four screws which actually open the glove box on the top. There's so many videos on YouTube on how to remove your glove box, but those are, that's pretty much the gist on how to remove it. So let's go ahead and just get that glove box out.
All right, guys, so the whole point of actually removing uh, the glove box is because this is the perfect place to actually put the MMI system. Um, now that we have that out, we're pretty much good to go on that. Let's go ahead and go ahead and remove this thing, this thing, and that. So we need to remove the trim, which is just a couple prying tools, and then go ahead and remove this as well. I believe this is to just pry this off as well. Oh, wait, no, 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 I'm lying. There should be a screw here, screw here behind this, and then a, uh, once you pop this down, there should be two more screws, I believe. So it should be four screws that's holding this on, and then again, this thing just comes off, and this little bottom plate just comes off. Guys, so there's also two screws down here you gotta remove. Once you do that, you can just pop this thing out, and then just one cable in the back. Uh, it's a purple cable, we just need to pull that out. Okay, there we have it. So the screen is officially out. This cable, we're gonna actually have to reroute it down here for the MMI system. Um, but let's go ahead and just remove the four screws for this as well. All right, guys, so now that we actually have our head unit out, our screen out, this cable accessible right there, and uh, this whole por portion accessible, um, this is looking really weird. But uh, basically, it's just wiring from here on out, and everything is just plug and play. So let me show you guys what you're gonna have to do next. It shouldn't be too hard. Always think of you when spring comes. So the first thing we unplugged is this guy. So basically, this is the main clip. It goes in like that. You just gotta pretty much pull it out. And once you get this whole piece out, we need to take out the fiber optics. It's connected by this one pin right there. Once you push out this pin, these two fiber optics should come out. Now that we have our fiber optics out, hallelujah. Now we can go ahead and grab the, the, the harness that actually came with this. So we have a female and male harness, and we also have a UPS truck back there, so that's pretty lit. The female to male right here, and then this portion right here, we connect the fiber optics back into it, and we're gonna put it right back into the head unit. Now before connecting the big harness, you do want to route out the cable that came from up here. Go ahead and bring it down real quick and just bring it to the side where the MMI is supposed to be back here. So once you bring that cable around, we can actually pull out this new cable that came with the kit. Perfect, yeah. Through the MMI side and then we just pretty much fish it back up. All right, guys, I'm just gonna go in and assemble the rest of this at this point. We have, as long as you have the blue wire sticking out of this side, the pink wire, the harness for the MMI, then you're pretty much good on this section, obviously. Um, you can you can make sure all this is stuck out and then test it all before putting everything back together. But you know your boy. Your boy, he, he trusts his own work. So we're gonna go ahead and disassemble all this. And if it's bad, it's, um, your man messed up. But if it's good, your man knows what he's doing. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, let's go ahead and disassemble the rest of this stuff. Guys, now that you have everything in the center console pretty much assembled, we just have a few wires here. Um, I believe this actually went to the light of the glove box, we don't need that. So you have the blue, the pink, and the MMI actual harness. So let's go ahead and just plug in the MMI actual harness real quick. So once that's officially plugged in, you're gonna be plugging the blue one. So how this is gonna work, it actually has it labeled LCD out, LCD in. So from your actual head unit, you want it to go into the in section. So that was originally pink. Once that's in, uh, we're gonna go ahead and put the LCD out, which is from the MMI to the actual screen. So that is the blue, that's the new cable we have here. Man, I haven't really done like a DIY type of video in a little bit. For those of you guys that are actually eating cereal and watching me and you're thinking like, hey, Noah, how come you ain't drifting your car right now? Um, Apple Maps is really important, all right? Because if you're drifting and you don't know where you're going, um, you can run yourself into a ditch and then you get cornered by a lot of cops and you don't wanna do that. You wanna know where you're going, so just in case you gotta do something, um, you know where you're going, you know what I mean? Any hoozles. Now that we have everything connected here, uh, we can pretty much shove all the wires back in here. This is where I'm MMI is just gonna pretty much rest. We do have two more cables we're gonna have to connect. First one being we need the USB port to be accessible. So we don't have any, we don't need anything else over here because we don't have a backup camera or anything like that. So we literally just need the USB port. So we're going to connect this part into the MMI, the white cable. 
And while we're at it, boys, let's just go ahead and connect the antenna cable as well so we can just put the MMI in its place. Everything is now connected. Make sure you have the three switches on, one, two, and three, and then four, five, and six is off if you guys have the biggest screen like most people do nowadays. Um, so let's go ahead and just put this back here now. All right, guys, the only things we should have sticking out now is our antenna and our USB. I'm gonna go ahead and give the car power again. We do have our airbags still connected, so we shouldn't be getting airbag lights. And uh, let's just plug in a USB and see if this thing actually works. Now that we're in the car, I gave the M4 some power. It's going to put in accessory mode. The screen is loading up, which is a good sign, which means it's connected. It looks like everything seems to be working. You guys heard the chimming sound, which means our fiber optics are connected properly. Um, the next part is, is just testing out our Apple CarPlay. So we just need to plug in the into the USB. Now that we have the USB connected, let's just go ahead and plug in our phone. <laughs> and that's what I'm talking about, guys. So now that we have Apple CarPlay, everything seems to be working just fine. I'm not gonna go to Maps because last time you guys told me don't not to do that, so I'm not gonna do that. But yeah, everything looks like it's working A-OK, -okay, and I'm really happy about that. Again, we have Spotify, we can download more apps. You even have Zoom if you're trying to do your homework and stuff like that in the car. Anyhow, got a text message from Yusuf. Oh my God, guys, I love this so much. To leave this screen, all you have to do is hold the menu button and then you're back to your main screen. If you wanna go back to Apple CarPlay, you just hold the back button and then this should load up according to my analytical, um, you see, it's doing some stuff here. And bada bing, bada bang, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect the USB. Once you connect your phone once to it, it pretty much asks you if you wanna do it wirelessly, so I accepted that. So this phone never ever needs to be connected ever again, but if you have a new phone, all you gotta do is put a, connect it back to the USB. So I'm gonna make this USB accessible, just so if we ever need to plug in another phone, it's easy to access. And uh, as for this thing, this allows us to connect to it wirelessly. Um, we're just gonna go ahead and mount this to the bottom of the board, at the bottom of the, the glove box. So yeah, guys, um, let's go ahead and just reconnect everything now. Alright guys, so I just got the glove box all installed. I'll show you guys where I routed all my cables. So I routed my USB port all the way in this corner there, mainly because nobody's ever gonna see it unless you need it. And I routed my wire right through here next to the airbag. And uh, this is my wireless Bluetooth module right there. I mean, at least my, my antenna, I meant. So now we have that there, this there, our, our cigarette lighter still accessible. Let's go ahead and check one more time if this thing works. <laughs> now that we got the car outside, look at all the packages that just came in. So uh, yeah, probably the next video gonna be working on the 7 Series, or actually, we're gonna be taking this to LA. So probably the video after the LA, uh, we're gonna be working on the 7 Series. We have both headlights that came in. So shout out to this guy right here on Instagram. He's been really helping me find parts for this car. He actually, I think he had all these and he actually bought a headlight for me and sent it out for free. All I had to do is pay shipping for all this, but he tried to get it as fast as possible from Washington. Huge shout out to him. I just want to thank him so much for the love and support. I mean, I honestly couldn't have done this without him. The headlights are so expensive for this car. They're everywhere, but they're so expensive considering how much I bought the car. And the bumper, I can't find any bumper anywhere under five or $600. Um, and then I have to get it painted anyways. He got me this bumper shipped. I just paid shipping $200 um, and I think he paid even even more for shipping, but he said $200. And I basically bought it for 200, I'm gonna get painted for 200. So $400 bumper, I'm okay with that as long as it's perfect. And then the headlights, I only paid $100 to ship both. So he really hooked it up. So shout out to him again, once again, go show him some love. Thank him so much for supporting the 7 Series build. This, the 7 Series should be complete in terms of the front end. It's gonna be missing some grills, but at least we can start getting the paint and everything situated. I also have my brother heading down in the i8, so. Uh... <laughs> This guy, he needs to get a haircut, so he has he has no car. He needs to get a car. So anyhow, shout out to Keys Motorsports for the MMI. I'm telling you guys, probably the best mod and the first mod every person should be doing to their car. We are still waiting on our camera, so that is just gonna have to wait. It's not a big deal, because still drive the car. The 360 camera still work, just the side cameras don't work, so we'll deal with that later. But we actually have another package from Keys Motorsports. I believe this is the carbon fiber spoiler, so let's just go ahead and crack it open. So 
So we just unboxed the carbon fiber spoiler from Keys Motorsports. The thing is that all about Keys Motorsports carbon, the fitment's insane because I also work with them and they tell me if something doesn't fit right, I don't actually upload it and I just tell them to adjust a few things and they send me out a new one. So I always work with them. I never ever tell you guys to get something when the fitment's terrible because on the i8, I, it was the first time they ever released carbon on the i8 and I was the first one to pretty much work with them. We got that perfected. In terms of this, they already had it far perfected before I saw Started working with them and this for a fact I know is gonna fit so good so let me just show you guys how the car looks without it real quick We got the wrong spoiler. <laughs> I think this is for a 435. <laughs> yeah, guys, unfortunately, yeah, it is the wrong spoiler. This is for a 435 or a 428. Not for this car, definitely not for this car because it has a different arch on the bottom. On stock M4s, the, the trunk already has kind of an angle to it. Um, so that is super, super, super sick. So clearly, this isn't the right spoiler for the car. It's all good though. I'm gonna go ahead and send this back and hopefully get one that matches the M4. And that kind of sucks, I was really excited for it, but it's all good, at least we have Apple CarPlay. That is the biggest thing I needed to have before we actually head off to LA. So at least that looks like it worked perfectly. Aesthetics, we can wait till we get back. But yeah, guys, in the plus side, we do have some awesome news, and that's the fact that we have Apple CarPlay's working, boys. Damn. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, I have to cut it off. I have to cut it off, guys. This is going to be a great drive down to LA. Huge shout out to Keys Motorsports. If you guys are looking for Apple CarPlay wirelessly, as you guys can see, for any BMW and a lot of other cars, make sure you check out Keys Motorsports down below. They have so many things for all kinds of different cars, mods, and all the good stuff. So if you guys want to cop something, check out the link down below. Without further ado, guys, today is kind of a short video. Hopefully, the next one will be longer. Actually, the, the next one will be definitely longer. Trust me, when a crank up job is pretty big. <laughs> Without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember, just stay humble. See you guys in the next one. Peace out. Oh, 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 oh,